Oh, 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 hello, friends. As you can see today, I am down with fever. Hopefully, I'll get better soon. But I am a doctor myself, so I won't let the fever affect me and keep me down. So, come on, friends. Today, let us learn about this unpleasant but crucial question. Why do we get a fever? Zoom in! One gloomy morning, you wake up and find your throat itching and tickling. The sensation suddenly turns into coughing. Your body begins to ache, making you feel awful and hard to get out of your bed. You refuse to go for breakfast due to loss of appetite. Suddenly, your mom enters, examines your hot forehead and makes it official. You got the fever. And despite all the irritation, there comes a tiny whiny smile on your face. As now, you'll get to skip school for a day or two. <laughs> but the burning question is, why do we fall sick and get a fever? Let us first know what a fever is. A fever, also known as spirexia, is higher than normal body temperature and is a part of your body's natural response to infection. You won't believe, but fever is actually a protective response to fight against pathogens like bacteria, fungi and viruses who enters your body to infect and kill your cells. And when that happens, your body gets into action and activates the immune cells such as white blood cells that produce chemicals called pyrogens floating in the bloodstream. Pyrogens make their way to the hypothalamus in the brain, which is in charge of regulating body temperature. When pyrogens bind to specific receptors in the hypothalamus, body temperature rises. One purpose of a fever is thought to be to raise the body's temperature enough to kill off pathogens that are sensitive to temperature changes. And as they can't survive in the high temperature, they die. And you get cured to go back to school. But if the fever stays persistent, it's always a good idea to consult a doctor as soon as possible. Trivia time! Did you know the normal temperature for a healthy body is between 97 and 99.6 Fahrenheit? Any rectal temperature over 100.4 degrees is considered a fever. When measured orally, that is in the mouth, 99.6 degrees is considered a fever. It's question time! Today's question is, what is the other name for fever? Do write your answer in the comment section below and hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't yet to be a part of the Peekaboo family and get a chance to get it featured by the end of our videos. So, here are the winners of the previous episode. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Stay healthy, stay strong by eating green vegetables. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. <laughs> Achoo! <sighs> Never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you!